babes what's poppin welcome back to my youtube channel it's chrissy alexis for those of you who are new or who don't know who i am we just gonna get right into the video really so as you can see from the title it's going to be another girls talk video basically about how to get over a breakup now i know if you haven't already some point in your life you're gonna go through heartbreak like it's just bound to happen and I know, well, I don't think I've experienced real heartbreak, but I've definitely got my little heart broke a couple times. So I feel like I'm experienced enough to say at least how I got over my little heartbreaks and what helped me. So I actually wrote down some things on my phone. I'm going to be reading it off and just giving you guys a little input. So first things first, the number one thing I have is delete them off of social media. Now this one is very this tip is very important and i feel like it's very beneficial think about it if you have your ex on social media or whatever the case may be you're gonna always feel the need to see what they're doing to see who they're with and that's not healthy because nine times out of ten you're gonna see something you don't want to see or they're gonna be posted up with somebody else eventually and your your feelings is gonna get more hurt than they already is sis or sir so therefore you need to delete them off of social media because baby bye we don't need to see your you no more once you are my life you are my life period and that's the mindset y'all need to have too because it's just not healthy to be stalking your exes on social media once you're done you're done okay so the next tip that I have is to cry. It's okay to cry. It's okay to let it out. I know me personally, I'm a very emotional person. I don't feel like you got to be all tough and strong. It's okay to cry. It's okay to let it out. That's healthy. That's you growing. You know what I'm saying? So definitely take some time to yourself to cry. Let those feelings out. You know, just cry if you need to third tip that i have is after you cry and you go through your little sad little you know my god i can't live without them stage or whatever the case may be you need to boss up you need to boss up you need to go get your nails done go get a haircut go get your hair done go get your lashes done do your makeup post some cute pictures get back on your shit boss up period because let me tell you one thing that i know for a fact they always miss you when they see you doing better, looking better, okay? So definitely, you got to boss up. And then the fourth tip that I have is mingle with new people. So basically what I mean by that is it's a saying that says, like, you know, the easiest way to get over somebody is to get on somebody else. And I don't believe in that. I think that's very unhealthy. And I feel like you're using the other person's feelings or you're using the other person as like a rebound kind of thing. And I definitely don't think that's fair or healthy. And you're not really getting over the person. You're just using that other person as like a void to fill that void. You know, does that make sense? I think it does. So I won't say do that. When I say mingle with new people, I mean mingle with new people. It's okay to go out and meet new people. I don't think you should take anybody seriously when you're going through a breakup, but you need something to distract you. And to be honest with you, other people is going to distract you. So that's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to talk to new people. You can't sit in that mindset and think like, oh, this was the only person for me, blah, 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 blah. No, you need to go out. You need to meet new people. You need to go chill with your friends. You need to chill with your family. You need to distract your mind. And um, basically, that takes me right into my fifth tip, which is surround yourself with loved ones slash occupy your time. Now, it's very important that when you're sad or going through a breakup, whatever the case may be, that you are not spending all your time by yourself in bed feeling depressed it's important to go out it's important to spend time with people who love you surround yourself with love that'll kind of help you uplift your mood you know what i'm saying like if you're by yourself all the time obviously you're going to dwell on the negative thoughts and think like damn like i'm really gonna be single forever like or whatever you be thinking when you're going through a breakup you know we all go through it shit like you always think it's the end of the world or you think that you can't live without that other person and i feel like that's where we a lot is by depending on somebody else for your soul happiness like you feel like you can't live without that other person and that's not okay like you need to be happy with being by yourself before you can be happy being in a relationship that's number one you need to be able to give yourself that same happiness okay you can't depend on your happiness solely on another person because it's not healthy one number two when you go through breakups you gonna feel like it's the end of the world because you're depending on that one person to give you all your happiness that's not okay we can't be doing that okay those are basically like the main tips that i got but my biggest biggest tip is to definitely give it time 
time heals all wounds like the quote says time heals all wounds it's going to get better i know that you're probably right now if you are going through a breakup and you're watching this you probably think it's never going to get better or you know your life is just in shambles and it's just like it's the end of the world but i'm here to tell you right now that it is going to get better it's going to get better you're going to see brighter days it's going to take time but it's going to get better okay you don't need that other person god puts people in your life for a reason it's either going to be a lesson or a blessing so if things didn't work out between you and that other person just take it as a learning experience you know take things from that failed relationship and apply it into your next one take things that you don't learn things about yourself you know you may have made some mistakes in that past relationship that you don't want to bring into the your next relationship use it as learning experiences guys you know like that's it that's it but yeah i didn't really want to make this video too long those are just my brief combined tips on how to get over a breakup or at least how what helps me get over a breakup just apply these tips that i told you guys and if you guys have any more tips feel free to leave them down below you guys know i love conversating with y'all i respond back to all my comments so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i love you all and don't forget to leave me a comment down below and hit that like button and that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and i'll see you guys in my next video bye